Hi guys, Tim again with Real Southern Exposure. Welcome to another episode. What we're planning on doing today is we're going to edge, but we're going to use a wood miser to do it. We're going to take an edgy 16 foot 2x flitches and we're going to edge them down and try and get the best wood we can out of them. And then at the end of this video, we're going to take and run a comparison between edging on the wood miser and edging on the single blade edger. So, do me a favor, kick back, relax, grab yourself a glass of sweet tea and take in a little bit more southern exposure. Okay guys, whenever I end up doing these, on having the edges on the mill itself, what I like to do is I like to get boards that are of similar sizes, put them together so I can do multiple boards at a time. Kind of like, it, it, basically what it is is gang edging. Um, However, unfortunately, with these flitches that I have right here, there's such a huge difference between each and every one of them. I'm afraid most of them I'm going to have to do individually. I did not want to have to do that. So, uh, well, I've already got this one inside of the mill. I've already got it clamped up, ready to go. So, let's go ahead and put our eyes and ears on. Crank the mill up. Let's go ahead and run this one and see what we get out of it. Okay guys, before we end up cutting this other side, I think we're going to get a 2x8 out of this. Um, one thing you ought to realize, anytime you're cutting something extremely long like this, without this uh, bunk being here, this board will end up dipping down. And it'll be a lot wider than what it is in the center, running on these band mills. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that this uh, adjustable bump that's on each end is all the way out to the tip end of this board to take and prop it up. So that way whenever that blade starts coming through it, it won't allow it to go down and it'll stay nice and smooth as it goes. Anybody who's ever operated a band mill and they started knowing that their the ends of the board were either thicker or thinner that's the reason why. Usually, that's it. They don't have nothing propping up the end of that board. So, I have both the uh, adjustable bunks on this end and the other end holding up the tip end. So now let's go ahead and make a cut on this. And we'll see if we can get this 2x8 uh, done and move on to the next one. 